I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 13, page 153, Nelson. We'll develop a relation for price function and find maximum revenue. An electronic store is selling CD players. The regular price for each is $1.90. During a typical two weeks, the store sells 50 units. Past sales indicate that for every $1 decrease in price, the store sells five more units during two weeks. Calculate the price that will maximize revenue. So first thing is we need to find the price function or the demand function. What we are given here is that at the regular price of $90, 50 units are sold. So uh, let's say 50 units are sold for $1.90, right? So that is what is given to us. And then it is also given that for every dollar decrease, that means if I decrease this price from $90 to, let us say, $89, in that case, store sells five more units. And the time period is two weeks. Five more units means 55 units, right? So 55 units. So you can consider that to be your coordinate points, right? And it's a linear function. Now, once we have two coordinate points, we can find slope. So slope is uh, change in y value divided by change in x values, which is, we can say, 89 minus 90 divided by 55 minus 50 or minus 1 over 5. So that is the slope, right? Now we can find the equation for the price function, this price, the dependent variable. We'll call it P of X. We can write Y for the time being and then we'll replace it with price function, okay? And uh, we'll use Y equals to MX plus B, the linear equation, to form the price function. So uh, let's take this point, 90 is Y value, 50 is X value, we'll write 90 here. Slope is minus 1 over 5, 1 over 5, x is 50, and let's find the y-intercept b. So from here we get 90 equals to minus 10 plus b, or 90 plus 10 is b, which is 100, right? So that gives you the price function, right? So b is 100. So we can say y is our price, so we'll write this as the price function p of x, where x is the number of units being sold, slope is minus 1 over 5, x plus 100, right? So I hope these steps which we have taken to find price function are absolutely clear. Now these are common steps which you have to take for all kinds of questions relating to uh, cost revenue and profit, right? So that is the first thing. Now what is revenue? Now as you know that is the price. So revenue R of X will be equals to X times the price function, correct? So that is revenue. So now let us calculate the revenue function. So revenue function R of X is X times price function, which is minus 1 over 5X plus 100. So when you multiply, you get minus 1 over 5X squared plus 100X. So that is the revenue function. Now we need to calculate price that will maximize revenue. To maximize, we need to find the critical point. So, so let's find the derivative of revenue, which is going to be minus 1 over 5 times 2x. And here we'll get plus 100. So critical number will be when this value is 0. So we'll give it this to 0. So we have minus 2 over 5x uh, plus 100 equals to 0. So from here what is x equals to? From here x is equals to 100 times 5 over 2, right? So 100 times 5 over 2, 50 times 5 is 250. So what we get is x is equals to 250 for this critical number which we have got, right? Now the question is whether this 250 is indeed a maximum or 
or not right so what we can do is we can test for the revenue at this point right so let us take a test point on either side of 250 revenue function is right there given to us so what we can do here is uh, revenue function uh, let's say this is how we will test it we'll take a point on either side of 250 to test so let's say this is the critical point 250 so we'll take a test point on the left side which is less than 250 so since the function is this I'll take multiple of uh, 5 let us take 100 here right and let us take 300 on this side okay now if if I substitute 100 in my revenue function derivative function of the revenue which is this one correct we are change of rate of change of revenue we are checking right if I substitute 100 here so 100 divided by 50 will be 20 20 times 2 is 40 right so so what we get so revenue at 100 we get this value is equals to uh, positive value right so 100 divided by uh, 50 is 5 is 20 20 times 22 is 40 so you get a positive value which is 60 right so it is positive so when it is positive rate of change is kind of increasing the revenue is increasing that's what you get if I substitute 300 here so uh, dash as 300 so 300 divided by 5 is 60 60 times 2 is 120 so you get minus 20 in this case minus means revenue rate of change of revenue is decreasing so from here you confirm that for the revenue of 250 it is indeed maximum right? so it is indeed maximum so that we have proved now let's continue the question is you need to calculate price that will maximize this revenue so to calculate the price price function is given to us so we'll use this particular function now correct price function so let's find the price for revenue uh, when the number of items being sold are 250 okay so we'll substitute x as 250 so we have minus 1 over 5 times 250 plus 100 so one fifth of uh, uh, 250 is 50 right 5 times 5 so it's minus 50 plus 100 that gives us 50 dollars so therefore we can say price is so price is equals to dollar 50 right so for maximum revenue price should be 50 dollars so these are the steps which you should follow to answer such questions right so the first step is develop the function which is a price function or the demand function then get the revenue function which is x times the price function derivative of revenue function will tell you the maximizing number and then you need to prove that this is indeed a maximum then find the price i hope these steps really help you to solve most of the questions in your textbook thank you and all the best